The second half of the 20th century is essentially the story of two men. Elvis Presley, the boy who dared to rock, and Jack Nicholas, whose combination of power and precision set records on the PGA Tour that may never be broken. Everyone knows that these two met as young men and joined forces in a series of exciting adventures. But there was also a third member of the team, another figure destined to cast a long shadow across the pages of history. Find out who it is in tonight's episode, The Pluribus Murder. You're making that driver sing today, Jack. I didn't mean it literally. That can only be one person. What's up, Elvis? Jack, I'm performing next week in Washington, D.C. How'd you like to join me? Our nation's capital? I'm there. This is a mighty special moment for a sharecropper son from Tupelo. And a pharmacist son from Columbus. And a uh, rum runner son from Boston. I uh, uh, don't believe I've ever heard our nation's core values expressed quite so movingly. I'm uh, Senator John F. Kennedy. A senator? You're just a few years older than us. Well, my daddy bought bootleg whiskey from your father. I'm Elvis Presley. I'm Mrs. Oh, I recognize one of our country's top junior golfers. You know, I'm quite a uh, linksman myself. Just the other day, I shot a ship. What the? Whoever emancipated this head was taking aim at you, Senator Kennedy. Dead aim. It'll take a lot more than that to kill me. I'm uh, planning to go off to the presidency in 1960. This attack could have come from someone who wants the same thing. Then I guess the leading suspect would be Vice President Nick. <laughs> A rock with a note attached. What's it say? Meet me across the street from the White House at midnight. Well, that's a dangerous neighborhood. Now, what do you say, John? The same thing I said when a Japanese destroyer ran PT-109. Let's get out of here. Want a date, handsome? For God's sake, woman, don't you see this ring? Are you actually suggesting that I be unfaithful to my wife? John, it's me, man. Elvis? Well, that's Jack over there. But we'll be ready if anybody... There he goes! He's getting away! Maybe not! Uh. Now let's see who this unknown soldier is. President, President Eisenhower! Eisenhower. I wanted to be history's most proficient golfing president, but if Kennedy were elected, that title would fall to him. And we thought Nixon was a crook. <laughs> <laughs> I call that funny. Only one thing I can't figure, Jack. How'd you get the ball to curve like that? Simple, Elvis. To bend the ball around a tree or national monument, just take your normal stance. Then open the club face to apply left to right side spin. <laughs> that uh, was a magic golf ball. That's all for this week, folks. Be good to your mama. And remember, the last four letters of American spell, I can. Elvis and Jack Nicholas, it may sound ridiculous. They were once as close as friends could be. The evil doers best beware. He'll build a cat and a golden bear. We're teaming up to solve the mystery. Young Jack and the Teenage King, one could putt and one could sing. They're on the trail from Pebble Beach to Memphis, Tennessee. Elvis and the Golden Bear, loving hard and playing fair. Maybe they're a lot like you and me.